think differently, you have to do differently, right? And that might even be getting up and doing what we call not just visual learning or oral learning, you just did kinesthetic learning. For those of you that are, as adults, a little prone to ADD, this is good to get up to move around. That ignites your neocortex. That's where creative problem solving happens. So you know this, right, as conference and meeting planners, you have to do differently to think differently. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I mentioned that I wrote a book called Kill the Company. And I wanna show you a little quote about why I did that. Change is not mandatory. Survival is not required. My teams go around and we teach people change. And I've been doing this for a little more than 15 years. And it's interesting, when I first started out my company, I thought this is gonna be great, it's gonna be so easy to go around and teach executives change. And wouldn't you know it, it was a lot harder than I thought. And I couldn't figure out why it was so hard to get people to change. When we know that we as humans constantly evolve to reach our potential, and we know that it's not just important for survival, but for success, why is it so difficult? And so the basis of my book, Kill the Company, is figuring out what's going on with change and what holds us back. And what I realized was we're going about it all wrong. The very things that we put in place to help us be more creative and more innovative, meetings, processes, uh, emails, right? all kinds of things, rules. Those are the very things that make us feel very comfortable, but they hold us back and even put a chokehold from being innovative in the first place. And I think that there are simple things we can do or even stop doing and eliminate, get rid of what's not working to create space for things that are. And I wanna teach you those things here today.